from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Get your rain jacket ready. Jason Adams has a look at your forecast in just a moment. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Let's get you caught up with your ABC Action News headlines first. This morning, a man charged in a double homicide is waking up in jail. This is a case we told you about last month. Winter Haven's police have arrested Bellany Pettifrayer. Police say that he's one of the victim's ex-boyfriend. Investigators say he broke into the Rose Motel and fatally stabbed his ex-girlfriend, Leslie Umpleby and Timothy Anderson. This was a crime that was about ego and, and possession. He said that she did him wrong and that he was going to kill his old lady. Thanks to witnesses and DNA, officers were able to make that arrest. He is now charged with two counts of first degree murder, armed burglary and tampering with evidence. We want to get you caught up with the state's latest coronavirus numbers. The state's health department now reporting more than 4,400 new cases and 86 more Floridians have lost their lives. Take a look at the dashboard. It now shows more than 830,000 positive cases and more than 17,000 people have died since this pandemic started. And we are closely keeping an eye on this key figure. This is the positivity rate. It now sits at more than 8%. And remember, health officials want to see a rate below 5% to stop the spread of the virus. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office organizing an ambitious effort to make our streets cleaner. You can see how they're doing it just there. Dozens of people volunteering their time yesterday for the project. They were along 78th Street in the Palm River Claremel area. Everything from tree limbs to bags of garbage were cleared away. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. Few scattered showers out there likely today under mostly cloudy skies. We continue with those gusty winds that we had back on Saturday too. Gusts could exceed 30 miles per hour, especially if you're closer to those more open areas on the water. So be prepared for that. Also dodging a couple of showers, but those rain chances only increase as we head into next week because we have a tropical storm. That's tropical storm Ada now over Cuba heading our way into the Gulf of Mexico. It'll be here all week long about 150 miles to our southwest offshore, but that's gradually going to kick up a lot of moisture here over the next few days. We have tropical storm conditions likely as we go into the middle of the week, so be prepared for that. Jason, thank you. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there. Enjoy your day.